Hello there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and today we're going to continue our sticker fun series with my twin sister Judy from Crafting with Judy. So let's get started and we will work on this page today and I think we're going to do our little penguin. So let's go ahead and we'll go from the top down. There we go. There we go. We'll get him all set. Or her. Maybe we can call her Penny the Penguin. There we go. And let's go ahead and adjust that light a little bit. There we are. So I'm using the pen and the wax that came with the kit but I switched out and I'm using a different tray as the tray that was sent with the toolkit is just a a red I'm sorry a um just a simple round tray and it would be difficult to put the drills back into this container that I'm using for them so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the number three which is a pretty white how are you all today? I hope you're doing well. I'm very good. I am filming this on a Sunday. So of course, since it's Sunday in this house, that means it's race day. My husband enjoys watching NASCAR. So he and Spoto get comfortable and watch an NASCAR race. And I tuck in and I film my sticker videos for the week and get them all set up and loaded onto YouTube. I'm going to actually use one of these so I can put my hand right there. There you go. I get them all loaded up and scheduled on YouTube. So this way, each day, Monday through Friday, you get a video. So that's what I'm doing. The boys are in the living room and I'm here in my office slash craft room slash studio slash guest room. And I get to visit with my friends and diamond paint. Oh, we were having coffee this morning and uh, my husband says to me, you know, I don't know, maybe my taste for my favorite coffee is going away. I said, why? He said, because it tastes very almost bitter. And I said, well, how long has this been going on? He says, not too long. Well, he had just recently, he was recently at his doctor and uh, because he had suffered a heart attack three weeks ago. And uh, he was at his doctor's appointment and the doctor did not, his sugar levels are still a little higher than what they should be. So the doctor put him on another medication in conjunction with the medications that he's already on. So um, he had just recently started taking that. And he said, um, I said, well, I wonder, you know, if it could be your medication that might change your the taste in your mouth. You know, um, I said, we're not going to we're not going to jump right on it tomorrow and call the doctor. I said, let's give this a little time to see if that's what it is. And he said, okay. And I went on to Facebook and I asked friends of mine that are on the same medication if anybody had this same effect with, you know, a bitter taste. Now, I asked him, I said, you know, are, is any other food being affected? You know, if you're eating anything else, is that tasting bitter or anything like that? And he said, no, no, not that I know of. I I haven't noticed anything 
just my coffee in the morning is tasting a bit bitter. So uh, friends of mine who are either themselves or their spouses or a loved one on the medication wrote back to me and said, no, I'm not experiencing anything like that or my loved one is not experiencing anything like that. So at that point, I said to my husband, I said, well, you know, let's be, let's, let's put caution into this then and tomorrow we'll contact the doctor. So we're sitting there a little while longer and my husband says to me, I think I figured out why my coffee is tasting so bitter. And I said, oh, really? He said, because we've recently switched. We used to drink 2% uh, milk. And the doctor, when Todd went in for his heart attack, advised him to start drinking 1% milk. Well, Todd only puts 1%, he only puts milk in his coffee. For anything else like cereal or something like that, we use almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. But for his coffee, he uses regular cow's milk. But we just recently switched to the 1%. He says, I have a feeling that the 1% milk, because it's got less fat in it, it, that might be what's bringing that bitter coffee flavor forward. So we're going to, you know, just uh, give it a little time with that knowledge, you know, that, that because that's the only thing that he puts milk in, unless I cook with it. But we haven't made anything that requires milk. So we're just going to keep our eyes peeled and our, you know, just keep aware of what we're using milk for and see if there's any changes with that. But we have a feeling that that's what it is. So that's really the only the only thing that's going on in our lives. Bitter coffee. And you know what? I'm, ki I'm considering myself lucky for that. So there we go. Next we'll work on his little beak which is the number one and let's see here we only need like five there we go and we'll go ahead with this little guy put him right there so does anybody have any finishes, any new starts? I know this is the beginning of the new month, so there's always some kind of an event. There we go. And let us see. I'm finishing up. I just did a quick 20 by 30 of a little duck for an event for Donna and Grandma and Maisie's Madhouse for um, I forget it's it's a bird theme that they're doing tail feathers I think it's called uh, hashtag tw tail feathers 24 so I'm just finishing that up and then I kitted up a kit that I've been wanting to do my husband got me a, uh, a diamond dots kit from Walmart and it's called Farm Cottage. So I kitted that up and uh, started working on that. And I love it. Maybe just put a little bit more. There we go. And the weather around here, it's very muggy been raining on and off. We're expecting some pretty gnarly weather to come through the next several days, so we will definitely be weather aware over the next few days. But it's that time of year, you never know what the weather, well, I mean, these days you never know what the weather is going to bring anyway. 
this so oh i like this sticker a lot this one's a cutie patootie little peggy or penny the penguin that's sorry. penny penguin so but not much else is going on um going to do a recipe for salmon cakes, but they're going to be baked salmon cakes. And instead of using canned salmon, we're actually going to use fresh salmon. It's a recipe that we got out of one of our diabetic friendly cookbooks and uh, it calls for canned salmon, but we had uh, a nice piece of fresh salmon so we're going to make that work into our recipe so we're looking forward to that have that sometime this week there we go wow that went quick and just like that friends our little penny the penguin is done she is a cutie patootie there we go we'll take this off i'm going to bring you on back and look at her. She's so cute. The sticker set is really nice. I'm really pleased with it. So, friends, please hop on over to Crafting with Judy and like her videos, subscribe to her channel, and please do all those YouTube -y things that you all do so well. Like my video, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on. Any new starts, any finishes, completions, any particular event you happen to be working on. Most importantly, let me know how you're doing. And until I see you all again, from Penny, Penguin, and myself, happy crafting. God bless you and have a great day. Goodbye now.